you know, what is Hero Wars really about? What is Hero Wars? And I know I have a fun, like, introductory teaser video on my channel about it, but, you know, at its, at its base, it's a, it's a pay-to-win game, right? Pay-to-win, meaning there are all kinds of activities that you can do that all reward you with resources to level up your heroes and on Facebook and web to level up your pets and your war flags, as well as leveling up totems and on, face, on, on Facebook web and mobile, leveling up your Titans. And all of these battle units have stats that need to be leveled up. So for example, you know, skin stones to level up skins, you, you need to farm items in the campaign to level up your your hero's color rank. You gotta collect runes to level up your hero's glyph slots and everybody's got five glyphs. The Gift of the Elements is a different resource. Artifacts are six to eight resources all by themselves per hero. Facebook and web has got Ascension, which is another handful of resources. You have a ton of activities, a ton of activities in this game. And if you're, and if you're first looking at this dashboard, it can be a little overwhelming, especially when things are popping up and there's stuff bouncing on the side over there on the right. But all of it is to get resources to level up your heroes or your titans or to improve the effectiveness of your heroes and titans. Now, there's a lot of different ways to enjoy Hero Wars, Facebook and web and mobile, Dominion era, Hero Wars Alliance. There's a lot of different ways to do that. Some of the ways that people find enjoyment is through player versus player, fighting in the arena, trying to get to the high ranks in arena to get more resources to level up your heroes, and fighting in the guild war, which is like a, a guild of 30 heroes, players, versus another guild of 30 heroes or players. All right, taking locations and a battle map and all of that. And then both versions of the game have an inter-server conflict as well. On Hero Wars Facebook and web, it's Clash of Worlds. You're matched up with other guilds from other servers, very similar to Guild Wars. And on Hero Wars Alliance, which is the mobile version of the game, you have the, uh, the Global Championship, which is another intra-server combat with guilds from other servers based on matchmaking and win-loss ratios and all of that. But it's all in service of increasing the effectiveness of your team of heroes, team or teams of heroes. You have tanks and damage dealers and healers, supports, controls, but all of that can be sped up by spending money. Buying the in-game currency emeralds, which you can then use to spend to faster level up your various facets of, of the different heroes and titans. Buying bundles, seasonal bundles, reoccurring daily bundles. You can buy all of that with real money, hence the pay to win. Now you can get at a very high level with this game by not spending any money whatsoever. It just takes longer. And by the time you get there, enough of the game has changed because the game changes over time a lot every six months or so. Every six to nine months, something about the game has changed to the point that the team that you are building is no longer the best team anymore. So I might go in here and fight Krabu here with, I don't know, this or, or something similar. So for example, I would probably use, uh, I don't know, this with um, maybe like Leon in the back with, no, not Leon. Let's just throw some, let's just throw some guys together just, just for the sake of it. This may be the best team in the game on offense or on defense but in a couple of months from now it won't, won't be it won't be the best team in the game anymore neither one of these will be a variation of these teams might be the best teams in the game but they might not be to get far in this game you do need to spend a little bit of money you can get very far without spending much or any at all but it won't always you'll you won't be on top forever if you are ever on top so again there are a lot of ways to get enjoyment out of this game some people like the player versus player. Some people like collecting all of the heroes. Some people like competing at the highest, highest level in the intra server, all of that. But this game really is about building a community, friends and family, that kind of thing. It's a nice time waster little game. It's a resource management game, but it is a pay to win game. It is a pay to win game.